limits. They're there to be pushed, challenged, exceeded. Limits are things to go beyond. Got it, I'm on my way. To look at in the rear view mirror while you move forward. So live with nothing standing in your way. Introducing the new Microsoft Band for people who want to live healthier and achieve more. With Microsoft Band, there are no limits to what you can do. So do great things. Hello everyone, this is Andrew How, aka How It Works. Today I'm going to show you how to resurrect your Microsoft Band. Um, I have a Band 2 that I like to use on a daily basis. Uh, the Band will pretty much tell me the time. Um, I'm still learning all the extra features that um, is slowly coming back due to community development. Uh, the Microsoft did kill off the Microsoft Health app or Microsoft Band app, so you're not able to sync to the cloud. You're not able to get email updates, text updates, phone calls. So you're, this is just mainly um, to at least be able to use the device as a um, like a watch uh, with limited functionality. So I'm going to show you how to factory reset a Microsoft Band 2. Um, so you saw that I double click that button, relit it back up, go all the way to the very right. And then I go to the very right where you tap on the power options, swipe to the right, reset device, hit yes. And then you can see I'm already connected to my charger. So I'm going to be shortly switching over to my desktop. All right. So once the watch resets what you would like to do is then go ahead and tap on your language go ahead and tap yes make sure that it's connected and on, on a cord and then once all that is set up then you're gonna continue on with going to ban unlocker and how you're gonna get to that is you have to go to my website go to www.how h o w e i t w o r k s dot com. So that's how it works dot com. And then once you're pulled up, you're gonna then see um, some options at the top that says Home, Discord, Direction, Valor, Retro X, and blah blah blah. So you're gonna tap, on, or you're gonna either tap or click on Discord. Then what you're gonna want to do is then download your Discord um, client. So if you have different OSs. I created like a little shortcut uh, link tree so that you can be able to download it on whatever platform you have. So how you get to that is get Discord at Discord link tree. Click on that. And then click on Discord for Windows PC and then it will start downloading. Now, once you're all set up and you've made it an account, which is a step-by-step -step walkthrough, you're gonna then notice that um, you're gonna then notice that you're able to uh, start signing up and being invited to servers. So this is where this button comes in. So once you downloaded Discord, made your account, you're gonna come back to this web page and then you're gonna click connect. And what it does, it takes you directly to my Discord. Now I am viewed as a member. So this is exactly what you're gonna see when you join, unless I do some rearranging in my Discord. Um, as you can see here, there are multiple different channels. This is your feeds. This is who's online. So, and then over to the very far left, this is like your, your little task bar. Um, I, I don't know what they call it. It's just a bar that shows you all your all the different servers that you're, um, that you've joined over time. So under the very left, um, column, you're going to then scroll down. You're going to then see. Uh, Microsoft Bands, and that is how you're going to get to Microsoft Band 1 and 2 Unlocker, and then MS Band Sync Pimped. 
Um, now keep in mind if you run this program, this program will not launch. So you have to do this program first, then this one second. Up here is just a step-by-step -step walkthrough. So uh, if you know if you weren't following the video, this will tell you how to do it. Um, as you can see here, uh, there is the option to go ahead and click on the link to be able to download the Unlocker app. Once you download that, you should be able to see a program um, in your downloads folder. So if you click on the on, on the right top corner of the program on OneDrive, click download, it should not require you to have to sign in. Now, if you just click download, then it might try to actually make you sign in. So you have to click on it first, then download. I don't know, Microsoft does things weird. Um, so then once it's all set up and it's downloaded, uh, you're going to then go to your downloads folder. You're going to right click on the program. If you're on Windows 11, you're going to click on show more options. If not, if any other version of Windows, you'll just see this context menu pop up and it's going to be called properties. You're going to go to properties. You're going to then go to compatibility at the very top. Again, second tab to the right of general. You're going to then check mark, run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 8. That is how the developer designed it. It was during that era, so you want to make sure that you run it as Windows 8 because that is its best backwards compatibility to any newer version of Windows. All right, once you do that, click Apply, hit OK, and then go ahead and double click and launch the program. Once you do that, you're going to then see Connecting to Band. Band type is Microsoft Band 2, which is what I got. Um, UB, um, or UBI um, is not completed yet. That means out of box experience. So what we got to do is tell using the Microsoft Band connected on its cord to your USB port plugged into your computer with this program detecting it. What you have to do is tell it to unlock the band. So that means bypass this this um, screen that says, are you going to use Windows Phone? Are you going to use Android? Are you going to use iPhone? Right, because we have no Microsoft Band app to be able to go by because Microsoft killed the project. So what we want to do is go to the very far right that says Unlock Band at the very bottom right-hand corner. Hit Unlock Band, and then it's going to then say Software Updated, Getting Things Ready. It's going to then Reboot, and then it's going to immediately tell you um, your time, your steps, and then it reboots again. And then there you have it. Your band has now been unlocked. So once you see this right here and you start seeing what tiles are available, be careful about messing with the tiles. Um, I would say go ahead and turn off any of the ones that you can't use anyway, like SMS, mail, you can't use those because it, it, it just doesn't work anymore. You don't have the Microsoft Band app. So I'm just going to go ahead and add on all the other ones I think that might work. And then I'm going to hit Apply Settings. All right, since we figured out what tiles that you wanted on your band, and you've shifted around and, and you've already hit apply settings and you already unlocked the band. Uh, just keep in mind some of these tiles may still not work correctly due to the fact that uh, it needs the app for the geo sensor. Uh, and that's basically for like uh, tracking what you're doing. So some of the workout stuff may still not work correctly. And you're probably thinking, well, man, what is the point of this video? Honestly, this is just for people who has old Microsoft products that are just laying around that they want to kind of sort of use uh, for something. Like I would like to use my band just as a watch without having to always keep my Galaxy um, Sport on me, my Gear Sport. Uh, so it's one of those things where it's, it's good to just trade it off and still have other wearables without having to go out and buy the latest and greatest. You know, it's, and the Microsoft Band 2 was a pretty nice product in my opinion. Um, before Microsoft put a put the nail through the coffin on it, uh, like everything else, cough, cough. Uh, anyway, 
Uh, so pretty much what we want to do is go ahead and close this program out. And then what we want to do is then go back to my Discord, click on this link that says MS Band Sync Pimped. Click there. It's going to then open up a second tab. And then what you want to do is then click on the check mark at the very top right on MS Band Sync Pimped dot zip hit download and then once you do that it's going to then land right into your downloads folder and then at the top right if you're using edge if you click on the folder it takes you right to it right click hit hit, uh, hit extract all or if you have a seven zip uh, go to extract to and then the name of the folder and then as you can see here, now it's created a folder with all the content that I need. So when you click on release on the folder, you'll then see Microsoft Band Sync.exe. Um, since I've already got it on my taskbar, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, just making sure everything's closed out, click on that program or either double click here. And then you're gonna then see that your Microsoft band is connected. Just keep in mind, this is broken. This is still working. What you need to do is then go to dashboard. I'm sorry, not dashboard, I'm being silly. Go to, let me switch off, there we go. Uh, go to my profile, edit my profile, and then you fill in all of your information. As you can see here, I'm John Doe. Um, and then I can go in and then fill out all the stuff I want to fill out. And then I can then click on personalized band. I can change the, the wallpaper. I could change the colors. Um, and then once all said and done, just like you see here, it's going to show this on your band. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave, um, you know, questions in the support chat. I have now uh, shifted my priorities in life a little bit in regards to how I provide support to YouTube. Uh, so if you want free support, go to support chat um, on the same column where you click for the Microsoft Band channel. So you go to support chat and then you leave your question in here. Uh, de depending on what it is, uh, we might get back to you. If it's something that um, might need to be paid, you know, you might need to do paid support for, um, you'll have to go to PayStation up here and then go ahead and then make your payment and then provide the receipt info when you open up, open up a ticket using this bu uh, button. Um, so you have to make sure that you have, um, I have received a payment if I'm going to be providing support um, going forward. Uh, this is just because I need to find other avenues of creating income for my family. Um, so this is something that is uh, been kind of in the works for a while. As you can see, we also have a screen share option. So if you do need to share your screen um, and I can work with you, see what you're doing in regards to the permissions that you give me to see, uh, to be able to help you with whatever issue you have going on. Um, normally, I start off at $60. And then depending on what it is and how severe it is, um, it could go up the price. Uh, for something like this though, um, unless you're just not able to follow instructions, um, you have the channel that breaks it down exactly the way that I described it in the video, or you could just watch this video and hopefully just get to where you need to be with your Microsoft Band. Remember, not everything on the Microsoft Bands, whether if it's one, two or the prototype of three means it's going to work because it needs Microsoft servers in order for it to, to work at its full function. And with Microsoft killing away the Microsoft Band app, guess what? You don't have those functions anymore and there's no no way anybody can fork a dummy version of it. Um, it's one of those things where Microsoft knew what they were doing they knew how to kill the project if it wasn't going to go their way, and they knew how to keep it dead. Uh, somebody just wanted to help get past the setup screen and give you some functionality of the watch just so that you can use it for uh, a watch slash band. I call it a watch.
people call it a band. It's a band, but whatever. Tomatoes, tomatoes, same, same stuff. Um, anyway, thank you so much again for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, this is one of those videos I really did not put much effort into at all. Uh, just in regards to the fact that it's, it's a made for fun video, not really meant to, uh, bring back your, your Microsoft band to the full function and user experience that you had before. This is one of those community fun videos that I just wanted to put together for everyone. I hope this, uh, again, quenches your thirst and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.